to discuss breakage. Breakage occurs because of multiple reasons. It could be natural breakage or it could be due to lack of moisture or strength. There are three levels of breakage. Let's go through them. Level one breakage, even at its healthiest, our hair still has breakage due to the fact that our hair's natural curly bending state is delicate. On a level one, you will have five or less break strands on a non-wash day and 10 on less on a wash day. The most common breakage is level two. The fact that breakage occurs due to neglect or misdiagnosed, you will have no more than 10 to 15 broken strands on a non-wash day and 15 to 20 on a wash day. Level three breakage is due to unresolved, ignored, or extended time frame of breakage. Large clumps of hair are lost in a routine styling and on a wash day. More than 15 strands on a non-wash day and more than 15 to 20 on a wash day. I want to share with you all my breakage story. If you see here my natural hair, I dyed it. And if you see the different tones in the dye, I had a bad dye experience with my hair. Dealing with that dye issue, I over moisturized my hair. Yes, there was such a thing. I did tons of wash and goes, wet styles. Um, I would hold my hair in ponytails and my hair would still be wet all day. I realized then that I was over moisturizing my hair. I didn't know until I had my curls were affected by the moisture absorption. Um, my, my curl patterns, my definitions were gone. The styles that I did, they unraveled quickly and they did not hold long for two to three days. Another self thing I did was protein overload. Taking protein and using way too much of it can cause breakage. And this picture right here, I wanna show you, the one on the left is where I had moisture absorption and the one on the right is where I had protein. And you see how my curl definition was back with the protein use. But I didn't stop. And if you notice in these pictures, my hair, is curled how and has style however it looks very dry very brittle and that's what happens when you have protein overload after having that moisture absorption and protein overload i learned that it's a balancing act you can use both but you have to know when you need moisture and when you need protein now my hair is freshly washed by using the click from entwine couture i want to do something different to my hair and blow dry my hair I know what you're thinking, mama, didn't you say that heat was bad? I know, but wait. I like to put a protein treatment in my hair before applying heat to it. That way it strengthens my hair before even using the heat. Reconstructing or bringing strength to your hair is important if you have protein needed hair. If using heat or even having chemical process like dyeing or relaxes your hair, a protein treatment may be a good tip for you. However, I always tell people, make sure you don't over protein. I had shampoos, conditioners, leave-ins, all of them all had protein in it and I was using them faithfully. That's how I got overloaded. Now, some of your styling creams are gonna have hydrolyzed protein in it or wheat protein. They all do because you wanna strengthen your hair before styling it. However, you wanna be cautious that not all your products have protein in it because all of a sudden you'll just cause a buildup on your hair and hence may get protein overloaded hair. So be cautious and read and know what you're putting in your hair, okay? Now I've rinsed out the protein, but I'm not finished. Now you have to follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. It's important, even after putting that strength in your hair, you want to reapply that moisture to soften and bring that electricity back to your hair. I wanna make sure you know it's important that 15 to 20 minutes, even 30, is a good enough time to deep condition your hair. You don't wanna always leave it overnight because then you can cause moisture absorption and lose the electricity of your hair. Another huge thing in order to hydrate your hair is to drink lots of water. So I've rinsed up my deep conditioner, I'm all done. I have my hair in sections as usual. And another good thing I like to do is trim my ends. Trimming your ends is so essential, you guys. You wanna trim your ends with shears, not regular scissors, and I'm going to show you why. You see this drawing, I have that triple right there. If you cut it with regular scissor, all you're doing is creating more split ends at the end. So I like to dust my thin ends and what I do is just pull it down. See that little thin area right there? I take my shears 
and I just cut it in a down angle. Now I like to do my lock method, which is my liquid oil cream, my leave-in, Total Perfection Argon Oil, and the Exotic Buttercream Hydrator. Moisturizing my hair before I blow dry it. I like to blow dry my hair on high warm heat, not hot heat. I detangle it with my fingers going down and then when it's about 70% dry, I'll take a bristle brush and brush it with the blow dryer. Voila, I'm all done. Now if you want to, you can also trim your ends with it straight, but the whole purpose of this is you have to see it. Now I'm going to flex rod my hair. I'm gonna part this side right here on the side so majority of it's on one side. Using my cream jelly styler, I'm gonna place them in a diagonal starting from the back and going forward. And just wrapping it around. Just to show you a closer look of how I'm applying this on. I like to wrap my hair around cover it and then just twist it. Now you want to make sure, I'm sure everybody knows how to flex rod, but if you want, in order for it to stay down, I like to make sure when I pull it over, it goes over the back way of how I twisted my hair and your flex rod to stay flat. Now on the side I parted, I'm going to use the blue ones and I'm really not wanting these to be spirals. I just kind of want them to be curled because I'm going to flat twist this side of my hair. head rag on it in time to go to bed but I want it to stay down so I'm gonna take another head rag on top of my bonnet and don't tie it too tight but tight enough so it won't go anywhere okay guys going to bed morning okay it's time to use the argon oil total perfection put a couple pumps on my hand to unravel these flex rods hair clips and just put the flex rods to the side because now I'm about to flat twist the side of my hair. Taking the cream de la mode and I'm going to put it on my edges. You know how I like some laid edges. Comb it down and I'm going to part this just in three sections and just flat twist my hair in a big easy simple flat twist. Of course if you don't know how to flat twist I will put a link in the video down below on how to flat twist. And these are just going up towards where the other flat spirals are. Quick and easy style. And now we're going to pin them with my curved pins that I love so much. And now I'm just going to separate just a little bit of my spirals. Twine Couture wants to give you another chance to win another Beyond Expected Audition Kit. All the information for this giveaway is down in the description box below. To save $5 on your next Entwine Couture purchase, type in Mama D Go Nat 14 in your promo code to save $5.